Hey, let me ask you something. Did you know the more you spend in marketing your credit repair business, the more money you'll make? Like for every dollar you spend, you will earn $2 in return. And did you know, especially when you're first starting out, you should try to be everywhere all the time, no matter what it costs you. Actually, every time I hear some overnight credit repair guru teaching something like that, I want to reach through the screen and shake them. That kind of advice, it lost me over $200,000 during my first attempt at launching my credit repair software. So in this episode, I'm going to tell you all about it and how you can keep more money in your pocket while marketing your credit repair business and filling up your pipeline for free. So stick around. So the big question is this, how can we take our passion for helping people with their credit and turn it into a successful business without taking loans, without spending a fortune, by bootstrapping it from nothing? so we can help the most people and still become highly profitable? That is the question, and this podcast will give you the answer. My name is Daniel Rosen, and welcome to Credit Repair Business Secrets. Years ago, when I was trying to launch my first version of credit repair software, which was called Credit Aid, I listened to all the bad advice out there. I took out a loan on my house. I maxed out my credit cards and I went into $200,000 of debt just to advertise my little $20 CD. And guess how much return I made from all that? <laughs> Let me put it this way. I was living the high life. I was able to upgrade my dinners from top ramen to cup of noodles. Yup, nearly zero in return. It was an epic failure, but I didn't give up. And through trial and error over the past two decades, I now know a secret that almost no one is talking about. Wanna know what it is? Okay, here it is. When you are just starting out, you don't need everyone to know who you are and what you do. You just need the people around you to know who you are and what you do. See, everyone wants to appear bigger than they are on day one. So they go out and they get a fancy logo, they start running paid ads, and some even do what I did and make TV and radio commercials, but all of that stuff it's a total drain on your finances when you're just starting. And it's going to make you broke and it does nothing for you. Here's why this is important. By wasting your time, energy, and money on paid advertising before you're having regular five-figure profitable months, you can actually hurt your own growth. Okay, because the truth is, people want to do business with people, not with logos or paid ads. No, by trying to appear bigger than you are, you actually dehumanize your company. And credit repair, it's a people business. And if you haven't started with the basics, and proven yourself with a ton of great testimonials, you are going to attract the wrong people. Anybody who's willing to sign up with a random company who hasn't proven themselves to be an expert in credit repair, they're either going to want something for nothing or they're gonna be a headache with chargebacks long after the work is done. Plus, if you use paid advertising too soon, you're going to kill your cash flow and, and that's going to really stunt your growth. As a startup, you need cash flow. But the best part is you can market yourself and humanize your credit repair company in a whole bunch of really fun and completely free ways. So here's what you need to know to successfully market your credit repair business for free. 
First, if, if you're not posting on Facebook, Instagram, and even Twitter three times every day, what are you waiting for? So switch up your content between sharing blogs, infographics, stories, credit repair tips, videos, and even go live to talk directly to your network. You can also do giveaways on your social media to entice potential clients and to spread the word about your services. Try offering free credit repair services or do raffles. It works every single time. And then once you get them results, ask for a testimonial. Also, remember that your personal Facebook profile, it can work just like a landing page with links to your offers, lead magnets, or to send people directly to your website. Second, people love to watch videos. Why do you think I'm shooting this video right now? Not only are videos magical for SEO and 53 times more likely to show up in the top of Google results, but they also thrive on social media and they, they help you to reach your target audience faster. If you're not currently using video sharing sites like YouTube, Vimeo, TikTok, or even Facebook Live, you are missing out on a core channel of free marketing. Now, if you're nervous to be on camera, that's okay. I'm on camera all the time and I come from the world of show business and I still hate seeing myself on video. I still panic when I'm going to do a video. I'm, I'm panicking right now. But don't worry, it gets easy. You don't have to worry about this. Just remember why you're doing this. You are going to change your life and the lives of your audience. If you don't put yourself out there, how many more people are going to suffer because they never found you. So don't be afraid of the camera and, and don't think you need an expensive camera or expensive equipment. Most of the time, and even right now, I'm filming on my iPhone. This is my iPhone. That's all you need. The most important thing is just do it. Okay, the third way to humanize your marketing and, and, and to get leads for free is to be a guest on other people's podcasts. This is a super easy way to reach audiences that you ordinarily wouldn't be able to reach. Podcast hosts, they are eager to find interesting people with relevant and meaningful information for their listeners. So why not jump on the podcast guest train and share your knowledge. Now, to find relevant podcasts to guest appear on, you'll need to do, do a little research first. So to do that, join guest podcasting groups on Facebook, search iTunes for relevant podcasts with an audience that you'd like to reach, and then find the host on LinkedIn and just reach out to connect with them. You can also just post on your social media and tell your whole network that you've carved out some time to record podcasts and then just ask who has a podcast and is looking for a guest. It's that easy. You'll be amazed at how willing people are to have you share your expertise with their audience. In the end, there are a bunch of different ways to get your community to know who you are and what you do without spending money advertising since you're just getting started. It really all boils down to networking, okay? Networking, and that can be in person or over social media. You've got to form relationships and partnerships. So take every opportunity you can to meet new people and tell them your story and add value to them on social media, on podcasts, over video, and just 
focus on how you can help. And don't limit yourself to just one industry either, okay? You'll be surprised at how often people in other industries have relationships with people that you want to know. Ask for introductions and focus on building relationships and getting in front of people. That's exactly what Ashley Massengill did. And in just 18 months, she went from having a nine to five job to making over a million dollars in revenue. Not long ago, Ashley was working at the post office, <laughs> the post office. And she began researching credit repair to fix her own credit. And then after about five months, her work started to pay off and her credit score, it skyrocketed from 499 all the way up to 721. And, and Ashley was so excited, she started posting about it on her Facebook page. And pretty soon she was swarmed with hundreds of messages from all the people in her Facebook wanting her help. And now Ashley runs a multi-million dollar credit repair business called AMPM Credit Repair. A lot of great things have changed for Ashley since writing those first few posts on Facebook. But one thing hasn't changed. She still shows up every single day across her social media platforms to connect with her audience and to stay top of mind for potential clients. We love Ashley, and we are so proud to see all the lives that she's changing. So if you are ready to get serious about starting your credit repair business, but you want to make sure you get the right information without spending a bunch of time or money in figuring it out for yourself, I've got a solution for you. We have created the Credit Hero Challenge and you're gonna love it, it's just for you. Join it today and we will take you by the hand as you learn and launch your business. And who knows, maybe in 18 months, you'll be our next Millionaires Club member just like Ashley was. So I hope you're finding value in the things I'm sharing on this podcast. And if you are, click below to subscribe. And if you're feeling kind, rate me and leave me a review because this is a new podcast and I can use all the help I can get. If you have a comment or a question, just leave it below. I'll answer it. And I will see you on the next episode. So until then, keep changing lives. Hey everybody, it's Daniel again. And really quick, I'd like to invite you to join what I believe is the best thing we have ever created inside the Credit Repair Cloud community. And it is a challenge that we call the Credit Hero Challenge. If you're just planning out your business or you're just getting it started and you dream of having a successful business of your own so you can quit your nine to five and fire your boss and have financial freedom or so you can add another revenue stream to your existing business, if that's your dream, you need to get into this challenge. We created this challenge to help you to create and launch your very own credit repair business, to build a proper foundation for a really successful business. This challenge is going to help you to understand the strategy, the tactics, and all the things you need to be successful at credit repair. It really is the greatest thing we have ever built, and it will change your life. So I recommend you do it right now. Stop everything, pause this audio, go online, and go to CreditHeroChallenge.com. That's CreditHeroChallenge.com. And join the next challenge. And there's a challenge that's starting in just a few days. So go get started right now at CreditHeroChallenge.com.